Good morning. Morning. How are you? Okay, thank you. Um, can I just check your candidate number, please? It's M123. That's fine. Please, could you just read the instructions there and examine this patient for me? Okay. Hi, my name is Richard Capstick. I'm a fourth year medical student. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, can I take your name, please? Yeah, it's Joe Major. And your date of birth? Uh, the 20th of December, 1985. Okay, would it be all right if I just do a quick chest examination on you today, mainly looking at the heart? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. I'm just going to pull this down. Thank you very much. So from the end of the bed, Joe looks comfortable at rest. He's not breathless. There's good chest expansion, uh, symmetrical on both sides. Um, uh, he's, uh, and there's no signs of weight loss or uh, muscle wasting, and he's a good pallor. So just check for peripheral edema. And there's no peripheral edema. Can I just have a look at your hands? Thank you. So there's no clubbing, no splinter hemorrhages, or colonicia. Capillary refill is less than two seconds. There's no peripheral cyanosis or Osler's nodes. There's no tar staining in the fingers and there's no uh, tendons anthemata. Can you turn your hands over for me? There's no Janeway lesions in the palms. Can you put your hands out for me? Thank you very much. Cock your wrists back and close your eyes. So there's no flapping trainer. And just relax. Thank you very much. I'm going to take your pulse and do this for 15 seconds. Okay, so pulse of 64, and it's a regular rhythm. I'm just going to take both pulses at the same time, okay? Okay, so there's no radial, radial delay. Okay, now do you have any pain in your shoulder? No. No, okay. I'm just going to raise your arm up. That's okay. So, okay, and there's no collapsing pulse. Excellent. So moving up the arm, I'd like to do blood pressure, but for the purposes of this exam, I'll move on. So I'm just going to have a look at your eyes. So if you look at the ceiling for me, I'm just going to pull your eyelid down. Okay, so there's no signs of anemia, there's no corneal arcus, there's no uh, xanthalasma, and there's no malar flush at the face. Um, can you open your mouth for me? Great, thank you very much. So there's no central cyanosis, or, um, and there's good dental hygiene. Okay, can you just have a look to the left, and I'll just look at your neck. So there's no raised JVP. Okay, great. I'm just going to feel for the carotid pulse in your neck. So there's good volume, and there's no slow rising pulse. So on closer inspection of the chest, there's no scars, the, uh, there's no visible apex beat, and there's no cardiac uh, heaves. Um, I'm just going to feel on your neck, it might be slightly uncomfortable. Okay, so trachea is central, and the apex beat is palpable, mid-clavicular line, fifth intercostal space. Feel for thrills. And can you sit forward for me? Okay, so there's no thrills or cardiac heaves, okay, and just relax. I'm just going to have a listen to your chest now. So first listen in the mitral area. I'm just going to feel the pulse in your neck at the same time. Okay. And then tricuspid area. And pulmonary. And finally aortic. Okay, so if, if, if I'd found any murmurs, I'd then like to check for radiation of these. So can uh, I ask you to roll over to your left-hand side for me? And go and listen for radiation of a diastolic murmur, which would radiate to the axilla. Okay, so there's no murmur there. So can you lean back? I'm just going to have a listen in your uh, uh, neck as well. Can you take a breath in for me? And hold it. And out again. And... The same again, and hold, and out. Thank you very much. So there's no aortic stenosis or any sign of carotid bruise. Can I just ask you to sit forward? Okay, and take a big breath, breath in, and out, and hold it. So there's no sign of aortic regurgitation. Thank you, breathe, breathe normally. Okay, and you sit forward again for me. And can I take some deep breaths in and out through your mouth? And again. And again, uh, one more time, and breathe normally, thank you. So there's no crackles at the base of the lungs, and there's no sign of any sacral edema. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's cover you back up. Thank you.
Now, could you give me a short summary of your findings on this patient? Okay, so Joe is a 23-year-old male. He looks comfortable at rest. There's no peripheral stigmata of cardiovascular disease. On auscultation, there were both first and second heart sounds were present. There was no added sounds and there were no heart murmurs. Further investigations, I'd like to do blood pressure, an ECG and possibly an echocardiogram. Furthermore, if I found any um, signs of peripheral vascular disease, I'd check all peripheral pulses in both the arms and the legs. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you.